Hello everyone and welcome back to another Beat Saber modding tutorial. Just a few days ago Beat Saber released the 1.16.0 update which included the Interscope mixtape which had songs like Counting Stars, DNA, Sugar, and Party Rock Anthem. My personal favorite is Counting Stars. But also this update broke and I mean literally broke every single mod. Plugins aren't loading, mods aren't loading. Anyway, besides all that, I will be teaching you how you can install custom mods for Beat Saber 1.16.0. Let's go. So this is the first page you wanna be on. This is where you will download Mod Assistant, the main platform where you will be downloading and installing mods for Beat Saber. I'll have a link to this webpage in the description below. Once you're on this webpage, click download here. And then simple, just download the modassistant.exe. Once it is downloaded, just drag that onto your desktop and then you can open it. I already have it installed up here, so I will just open this up. Once you open up Mod Assistant, you'll be greeted on this page. If you know what you're doing, just press agree. And now you should be able to install mods. One thing to note is to make sure that you are on the right game version. So. Mod Assistant is updated to 1.16.1, so make sure you are using this update. Now that you chose I agree and the right game version, just go up to these mods and just check off all the ones that I have listed right here. And you can do this with any mod on Mod Assistant. For example, lighting. Let's press this and this will allow you to change colors in the menu. There's only a few mods listed right now, but that's only because people haven't updated every single mod to this game version yet. These are just all the core mods that will allow you to actually update and mod Beat Saber for the future. Once you have clicked all the mods that you want to install, just go down here and press install or update. Now you'll see all the mods that you installed have these green numbers and these install buttons. You can install the mods at any time if you want to or need to, depending on if it slows down your game or not. Now just to make sure most of your mods have been installed, go to your Beat Saber install folder. I'll have a file path to each Steam and Oculus version on the screen right now. Just follow those to your Beat Saber install folder until you see something like this. Now these folders right here, the custom avatars, notes, and sabers, these won't really work right now because those mods have not been updated, but what should work are the Beat Saber custom songs. So go to Beat Saber data, custom levels, and in here are all the songs that you can put. If you already had songs in your Beat Saber custom songs folder, then they should just transfer over to this new update. Now that you have your mods installed, just open up Beat Saber, and then you should see the mod tab right here. For your custom songs, just click solo, this little hand icon, and here are all the songs that you put into your playlist folder. Another place to download custom mods is the Beat Saber Modding Group Discord. I will have a link in the description below. I would highly recommend joining this Discord if you want to get some custom mods that the community has made. All right, so once you join the Discord, Go down to public releases and choose PC mods. This is the place where people can upload their mods. Now how exactly do we download mods from the Beat Saber modding discord? Let's take this one for example, Saber Factory. This mod will allow you to have custom sabers in Beat Saber. Just click on this link and it will open a new page and go to the latest release. 14 hours ago, Saber Factory 2.3.0. Just click on that. Download this zip file, open up the file, and you will have the saberfactory.dll. Once you see the DLL file, just open up your Beat Saber install folder again, and then open the plugins tab. Drag the DLL into the plugins folder, and there you go. Exit out of the plugins folder and open this, and press the enter key. This just updates the game and just a better secure way of downloading the mods. So now that I downloaded the Saber Factory plugin, these custom sabers in this folder should now all be loading. 
Once you have the mod downloaded from the Beat Saber Discord into your plugins folder, just open Beat Saber and you should see over here at your mods tab, the Saber Factory plugin should be open. And there you go. That is how you download custom mods for Beat Saber 1.16.0. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, consider subscribing for more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.